and we're recording. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sonia, this is Angus and together with my husband and our little daughter Mia, we are Iceland Family Life and we make lifestyle and vlog kind of related content of life here in Reykjavik, Iceland. Today I am sharing with you a tour of our new apartment here in Reykjavik and along with losing my voice, this is going to be the best way to keep Angus happy and honestly this is a real life tour because I've not tidied up, I've not even hoovered, I've not put toys away. This is how we live here <laughs> and I'm just going to start sharing it now because honestly if I wait till it's tidy or he's settled or I've got my voice back or everything's perfect, I'll never film it. So let's go to the front door and get started. Hi guys, welcome in. So this is our front entrance and basically there was nothing here when we bought the place so we have built this IKEA unit. There's also a small area here where you can sit, put your shoes on. Uh, we've got a key rack and all those kind of things, mirror so you can see yourself. Hooks for us, hooks for the kids down here and a shelf above. Opposite the entrance foyer is this area which was basically just wasted space, kind of a large hallway. This is the bathroom beside me here. This used to be a door into the kitchen. We didn't need two entrances into the kitchen. We closed that up, built an extra little wall here, which we haven't done anything with since. And that meant that we created an office space for my husband, Ingmar, to work in. It's a two bedroom apartment. So these are the two bedrooms here. This is a large two bedroom that was opened up into a one bedroom. So when the kids are a little bit older, we're gonna build that wall back and put it into two bedrooms. So they've got a bedroom each and that'll be fun. But for now, you're in with mommy and daddy and soon you're gonna be in with your sister. Yay! Sleepovers every night, oh dear. This is the master bedroom and it's basically just a large bedroom with a fitted wardrobe. There's not much else going on here. Enough room to fit a cot at the moment and chest of drawers, yeah. but that's about it. It faces onto the main road, but actually the sound of the traffic is kind of quite a nice white noise. And then this is the kids' bedroom. So at the moment we have Princess Mia's bed right here. There is enough room for a cot here or over this side here. We've got two wardrobes for them each, two chests of drawers, all the teddy bears hanging up here. And unfortunately, this storage is full of clothes that these guys have already grown out of that need to be passed on to someone else or donated, sold, whatever, if I need to get time to deal with that. So right now, it means that we've got one large room which acts as a playroom, Mia's room, but also the spare room because this sofa right here is a sofa bed. We just had my sister staying with her kids. So there's enough room for guests in here as well. Originally, it was two bedrooms, so we know that we can put it back to two bedrooms and have a three bedroom property. And then this is the bathroom. And yes, I finally have a bath. Woohoo! I love it. Absolutely love it. It's not exactly my taste and we'll probably have to spend some money on this room first when doing renovation plans and everything, but it's so good to be able to bath the children, have a nice relaxing bath myself. Um, huge sink. We can bath this one in the sink. This is my little Zen home spa. And then this is the living room space, which means that we've got this huge space for entertaining and playing and just being sociable. So it's a nice open plan space. We've got the living room here, play area here, dining here, and then my studio behind all of those books and everything, which means that I can kind of keep an eye on the kids and try to do some work. That's the idea. So this is my studio space. Many plans for this place, many, many plans. And I think we will get there very slowly, but surely. The dining table will move into the kitchen so it's away from the TV. And yeah, my studio will look like a studio and not just boxes hidden underneath the table. And then coming round from the living room, dining room is the kitchen. Now the kitchen is, it'll do for now, but we would love to tear this down and put in our own kitchen. As you can see, this is the door that is in the hallway um, where we built Ingmar's desk area. We're gonna have to <laughs> fill that paint it, cover it up for now, but the grand idea is to put some nice lights in there, shelves, have a kind of coffee station breakfast area in all of that section, design out the whole of the kitchen and just create a beautiful dream kitchen. This is currently where the fridge freezer is, and the fridge freezer is gonna move into 
the bonus room next door. And this area is where the dining table is going to go. And I will show you what I mean by bonus room. This really is real life because the washing machine's going right now. But this whole space, look how far it goes back. Amazing. Bye. <laughs> We've got a utility room, so we can stick all the mess through here and the noise of dishwashers, washing machines and all that kind of thing. Put a pulley system up for drying all of the laundry, store everything, have like a beautiful kind of, um, what's it, the home edit inspired storage system. Everything will just be through here and out of sight, out of mind. So yeah, that is our apartment tour for now. I will kind of give you a little bit of an overview. Yeah, dry and rack out. It's very realistic. Um, but welcome to our new home. I am so happy here. Yep, there's there's Angus's new cot still in a box. It takes you to have a second baby to actually invest in a cot. Yeah, welcome to our new home in Reykjavik. I absolutely love it. I love the view that you cannot see right now, but it is incredible. And I love that we don't have so many stairs to climb into the apartment and that we have a bathtub as well. Huge room for the kids. Just so happy here. So happy. So please, if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button, click the bell notification, come along and join our Iceland family life and stay tuned for more projects and to see how this apartment comes to life because I can't wait to create our, our little home here. See you soon, guys. Bye.